I had to move last year, and I have a lot of stuff. So I tried that Marie Kondo method. <laughs> yeah, the Marie Kondo method. You pick up every item you own, you look at it, and you say, does this soup ladle spark joy? <laughs> And if it doesn't, you toss it. I picked up every item I own, no spark, <laughs> nothing. Well, there's one thing that sparks joy. <laughs> Buying new stuff. <laughs> My girlfriend has a lot of dick pics on her phone. She took them, yeah. They're all photos of me complaining in restaurants. <laughs> I'm not good at taking compliments. Someone's like, nice sweater. I'm always like, oh, no, garage sale, five bucks. <laughs> like, nice glasses. I'm like, no, no, I found them on the street, on a corpse. <laughs> I never know what to say at funerals. Because you're supposed to say, I'm sorry. But I don't like saying, I'm sorry, because I, I feel like I, I'm admitting I had something to do with it. And I had nothing to do. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. I wasn't, I wasn't in town. I have an alibi. I know, I know I looked like someone who had something to do with it, but I did not. I'm getting typecast at the funeral. I, I, I didn't. So instead, you're supposed to say, uh, if there's anything I can do. I, anything you can do. Can you raise the dead? Because if you can't, then no, there's nothing you can do. We're all set with the bagels. So instead, I try to say nothing at a funeral and just go up to the bereaved and make funeral face, which is very simple. Funeral face is just... <laughs> but I end up overdoing it. I'm like... <laughs> which looks like I'm saying, yeah, he's dead, what are you gonna do? He's dead and we're, we're here, he's dead and uh, I'm gonna go get a bagel, can I bring you one? I'm... <laughs> Everybody's got an opinion these days. There's a deli guy in my neighborhood. Whatever I order, he's got to say something. The other morning, I ordered an everything bagel with nothing on it. He said, we don't serve paradoxes. I said, well, that sounds like discrimination. 